When we got the call to come back to one of the greatest show weekends of the last two decades, we dropped everything and started making plans. This particular show calls cars from all corners of the Hot Rod universe to make the trek for an epic few days. So the first call we made was to our friends at Stuart Warner. The first, last, and only name engages for any crowd of self-respecting hot rodders literally make sure that their cars get to the show. And get there in style too, kid. So, sit down and hold on. There's a place. A place in Texas where, once a year, some of the greatest hot rods and customs meet up and dance with some of the greatest barbecue, set to some of the greatest music you'll find west of the Mississippi. Hey, we went to a car show and a whole town showed up. Austin. In addition to being the capital of Texas, the city once known as Waterloo has picked up a few other nicknames too. From the live music capital of the world to the city of the Violet Crown, not really sure of that one, Bat City, and more recently the barbecue mecca of Texas, Austinites have spent the last 30 years pleading with its citizens to, you know, keep Austin weird. Despite massive growth and people coming in from all over the world, it appears they're doing a pretty good job of it. Austin is a true mix of old and new. I mean, traditions aren't hard to find, but there's so much new stuff here they'd be easy to miss. So, when we decided to spend one perfect day at a little old car show called the Lone Star Roundup here in Austin, we called up some old friends and asked them to meet up and show us around. Naturally, we built our day around old cars and a healthy new car culture here in Austin. For the last 20 years, the Lone Star Roundup has been bringing in hot rods and customs from all over the country. Hosted by the Continentals Car Club, it truly gives you an idea of what car culture in Texas really looks like. But before we head out to the show, we had to eat, right? I mean, what perfect day doesn't kick off with amazing food? So, starting bright and early, the breakfast taco is almost as Austin as barbecue itself. You can literally find a food truck making these things at just about every convenience store, and chances are, they're all amazing. For our breakfast taco, we started off at a joint without wheels under it. Tyson's Tacos. For the first meal of the day, you're getting all your four basic food groups wrapped up in one tortilla. You know, egg, avocado, bacon, and hot sauce. And after polishing off one of these, guess what we needed? <laughs> That's right, a second breakfast. Now, when you come to Austin for the Lone Star Roundup, make sure you bring a hot rod built with three things. A gas tank big enough to get you around town, the right set of gauges for that perfect traditional look, and a seat big enough for your expanding waistline. Because the food scene is our second favorite thing about this town. And speaking of seconds, we went old school and sought out the legendary Juan in a Million located in Austin's formerly seedy, now trendy east side for breakfast part two. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Got it. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna guess I know where the name of the place came from, but tell me about the name of the place. So the, the name of the place came over a couple of beers, you know, overnight. Of course, uh, right? Yeah, man, uh, how most things come, you know, great ideas. So it was a night out and, you know, fishing around names because we had a name before, Don Juan, and people were, other people were trying to use that name. So it was like, let's come up with something different. So right. they came up with uh, Juan a Million. Now, I was told when we got here that there was a certain plate that I'm supposed to order. The Don Juan taco, that's yeah. a very popular taco. It started amongst college students. Uh, we made it, it was a, basically as like a more of a bargain dish. Get them a lot of food for a little bit of money. Bacon, egg, potato, cheese under a flour tortilla. And it's about a pound of food, under seven bucks. I got it to go in the bag itself. It was the heavy, weight right? surprised me, Yeah. you know? <laughs> It'll slow you down in the car for sure. It does. <laughs> I pulled that thing out of there and like you said, it is, it can't, that tortilla can't hold what's in that thing. No, it can't, it can't. That's why a lot of people get extra tortillas and they make two to three tacos out of that one, out of that one taco. You could actually feed a family of four with one of we those. Have, we have, we have. Have yeah, you done that? Definitely. <laughs> so now, if you're gonna keep it a family thing, you, it's up to you to have kids and name them Juan. Oh yeah, no, I got, I got one, I got a little Juan and he okay. wants to help out and I have my daughters, they help out as well. 
Yeah. We've had, I've had a lot of my kids help out through here. They're, most of them are in college yeah. now, so. <laughs> well, I appreciate the time, hey, man. Thank pleasure, you. Let's get back to work. I know you're Thank busy. Thank you so much. Appreciate, appreciate it, dude. Thanks. Now that we were feeling a little more Texan, it was time to take in the sights through the windshield of this Ford Model A Phaeton. In true Hot Rodder style, Mikey Knievel, Cheater Slick Chuck, and Scratch decided to drop everything for us and finish up a car they weren't working on in order to bring it to a car show they had no plans in attending. And they did it all the night before the roundup. But the little tub ran like a top. Good thing too, because 50% of the roundup experience is scooting around Austin in the car you take to the show. And everyone else in town will appreciate you for it. Okay, just like any self-respecting hot rod, everything in this one is in some state of never finished. In this little Model A tub, the vintage Stuart Warner dash gauges work perfectly, even when the glass gets knocked out of one of them. Hey, like any hot rodder will tell you, that's just the perfect excuse for a brand new set. I mean, I'd go for a set of green lines or maybe some aviators, but you know, I'm partial to those anyway. After a hard morning of sightseeing and knocking dents out of vintage hubcaps, we worked up an appetite for lunch, of course, which is the perfect chance to dive into something Austin has become really good at, and that's fusion. Austinites love to mix things up, and when it comes to mixing cultures, there's no one more into it than the greatest name in Austin, Mo Piddle, and his mashup of border, Jewish, and Austin cultures known as Jew Boy Burgers. So, for a lesson in smashing burgers and cultures, we had to have our lunch over there. I've known you for a long time, we man. We've been friends for years and years. And I know that Jew Boy Burgers was a concept first. Yeah. And it became it's this. It's your fault. How's it my fault, dude? It's your fault that I'm here right now. So, the idea behind Jew Boy Burgers is I was originally going to sell t-shirts that said Jew Boy Burgers on them. And I, it. yeah, I did the logo, photoshopped it on a shirt and sent it to you. I go, what do you think, man? And you go, you should totally do it. <laughs> Yeah, I should do it, shouldn't I? That was a brilliant idea. Six years idea. later, we're here. You know, it's just a combination of the border that I grew up in, Jewish that I'm raised in, uh, Austin. It's the type of city that you could do stuff like this. Isn't every city where you can do something called Jew Boy Burgers? Uh, obviously, it creates a little bit of conversation, and we're all good with that. But it's truly just a celebration of culture, and it's about eating. I mean, I know it's hard to tell by looking at me, but I like I to eat. I never know that. I never know that. All our friends had been out at the car show since the sun came up, so it was time to head east out of town and do the other thing we came to do. So hold on tight for part two of One Perfect Day in Austin, Texas at the Lone Star Roundup. Things are about to get even awesomer.